training in a place where you have never trained before and uh, waiting to battle with big guys in a, such a big race like Chicago, um, I'm a little bit any time focusing in this race, but I know this is a race and uh, I love to be patient and wait for it. The reason why uh, we started working with Christopher was uh, because he was looking for a change. As soon as I joined this group, I saw already in the train that uh, when you train with a very good group and uh, with a very good coach, you know, you cannot say anything until you cross the tap. But the plan is uh, very simple here. I want to run my my personal best. So we gave it a try and uh, wanted to see how uh, still how much fire he has inside him and uh, what his personality is like. And so far I'm really positively surprised. And if I now compare uh, Christopher Chiboyboy's training to our best standards, then I must say he's in really good shape and he can, he's good for a very fast run in Chicago, definitely. I mean, to see him still running at the top of his game and having been a runner-up in both Boston and New York, I would love to see him hit the winner's circle at one of these World Marathon Majors. When I was running New York, I was training alone. Compared to now, I've trained with uh, experienced guys like Kemis, like Evans. I'm better than when I was running in New York. Seeing all three athletes training, comparing it to what we did in the past, seeing uh, what Sophia looks like this year, I would say that all three athletes are good for top six, top three. I cannot say I'll run the fastest, but according to my preparation, if things run, Smooth the way it has been running up to today, I'm hoping to run a good race. When we were going to school, it was like four kilometers. So we used to food not by car. And uh, all was, during those times, it was really very hard times for us. So we were going like in the morning, in the afternoon we come home for lunch, and also in the evening we come back home. And uh, unknowingly it was a training already. But still the problem was the money, we, the, the school fees we had was not enough. So all along, you know, you want to focus learning in school, you want to focus running, to make ends meet, I told my mind I don't want my own kids to suffer the way I suffer. And I come up with uh, support of supporting and building a primary education and a Salaba Academy. I used my money when I was second in Boston, I was second in New York to build this school. And up to now, I still having the trim. And of course, this trim has to come side by side with my running. When I run good, I know kids in Kenya learning in the school, they will also benefit from me. And of course, to my family. And definitely, my life will change. And I know sports has changed to me, seeing this. I ran marathon.